I'm Nisi Nash Betts. Shout out to Great T News. So, we gonna start off with the aunties, okay? This leads in us talking about the aunties. So, we gotta start off with this, y'all. Did y'all see Akbar V um, uh, being a hypocrite about how she be talking about uh, Blueface and, uh, Blueface and, um, I'm about to say Krishan, Blueface and Carlissa relationship and all that stuff, but this woman be acting unhinged and don't really seem like she has the, the, the best relationship with her own damn kids, you know? This woman is crazy, y'all. All right? I don't know if y'all saw this. Did y'all see this? She was arguing with her son, talking about she about to kick him out the house and all that stuff. She said, it says, Agbar V goes off on her son on live. Uh, let him know he can either abide by her rules or get the F out. Okay? Very interesting. Mmm. Okay, Agbar. Wasn't you just talking about uh, Carlissa? Okay? She was acting like she was the perfect parent, too, which is super weird. It's like, okay, anyways, let, let's clock this T, all right? Let's go. I'm done talking. You gonna either, you gonna either buy, 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 or you gonna get your baby out of here. Now what you gonna do? I'm telling you this now, he's gonna get the fuck up out of here. See, I don't even like crap. You got me, you got me having crap. I'm talking to me. You ain't getting money to do what you wanna do. You got what? How you talking about Carlissa, ma'am? I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm very confused. I'm very confused. I'm telling y'all, she was like, "Oh, I got my, my kid. My kid never taught me like that. I don't got no relationship like that with my kid." You know what I'm saying? Oh, really? And and all it took was a couple weeks, y'all. That was a few weeks ago. Right, Akbar V and uh Carlissa have been going back and forth with each other at least for like the last month or so, right? And like I said, um, you know, some of the stuff that she was saying about Blueface was you know, it's true, they got their own, you know, back and forth relationship, right? But at the end of the day, she raised her kids, so I guess this this son, because he sounded a little older, did he just move back in or something like that? Because at one point, Akbar V didn't have none of her kids, right. Y'all keep me y'all 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 keep me updated with this, right? Okay. You said Akbar has been scum for a long while now. You said Akbak. Oh, that's crazy. You said what? She was acting like a perfect parent. Of course. Um. You said Akbar, go fix your toes. Child child protection services. Uh, go take her ch children again. Well, she tried to say that CPS never took her kids. She's saying she gave her kids to her auntie. So they were never actually in the system. You know, they just weren't being raised by their mom. You know, it, you, you know, you could take that for what it is. Akbar is a breathing contradiction. Uh, Akbak, uh need to worry about her toes and stop stalking Nikki. Right, right. Two chairs. Damn. Yeah, this is crazy, man. She got up like she was ready to fight him, too. I'm like, damn, is that bad? Because she, uh, they was talking about, like, cleaning or something. I guess, I guess, you know, he wasn't cleaning up or helping his siblings clean up. And they got to the point, man, she, uh, you know, they, they she about to fight him. I'm done talking. You gonna either, you gonna either buy, 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 buy or you gonna get your bitch out of here. So you you a great mom, but you calling your son a B? You talking to him like a ninja on the street? You gonna buy by my rules or you'll get your B? You feel me? A double S out of here. I'm like, dang. That sounds like mother of the year. I'm confused. All right. Okay. Akbar V didn't turn into Dick Greg. Get Akbar V then turned into Dick get uh Gregory. Okay. I, I I don't I don't hear no difference. Okay. This is exactly what Akbar V sound like. You keep talking, man. And you shut the fuck up. Huh? All right. Rest in peace. See, I don't even like crap. You got me, you got me, man. 
how to be. You ain't been coming here doing what you want to do. This is wrong. You know what? Then you want that motherfucker. And then I guess that was her daughter walking by with the bonnet. She looked tired of this. She seemed like she used to this. This an everyday thing, you know. And then that's that's why I say mental illness is real, y'all, and clout and all of that stuff. Because let's talk about it, girl. Why the hell are you on live? Girl, why you didn't turn off the live? Like, we shouldn't even be seeing this. This is none of our business. Nobody's perfect. We know family be having issues and parents going back and forth with their kids and stuff. I mean, it just is what it is, right? Especially when you got teenagers in the house, right? But, like, uh, girl, get off the damn live. Okay? Like, I, I don't know, man. Yeah, because you have to. What? You ain't clean that one bitch. Do you clean up? Do you clean up? No, because you know what Dorm just said earlier? Mom, we, we the only one doing the remain doing nothing. She wait. Okay, you got home at eight o'clock now. Wait. Oh, she's oh, this isn't like a uh, you know, like an accident thing, like while she's live, you know, this ended up happening. She's looking at her camera, she's looking at her phone, looking at the chat. So are you embarrassing your son? Tell me you about to kick him out the house and all of that stuff. Um, you know, you doing this on purpose. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what 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 are we doing here, bro? She literally looked at her phone to look at the chat. So you doing this to embarrass him, not understanding that? I mean, this should be embarrassing you. You know? And it's two sides of every story. Ain't no telling what really happening. I mean, if you hear from uh behind the scenes, it sounds like he's saying that, you know, he hasn't been home. So I guess he, he's saying that he the one that that wasn't even like causing a mess, I guess, or whatever. He like, man, I just got home from practice or something like that. It's eight o'clock. I just got home from practice. They've been sleeping in here, you know, laying down all day. You know how that be. It could be, like I said, two things could be right at the same time. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe it's his uh, job. You know, it's his day to wash the dishes, whatever the case may be. I don't know. Okay. Regardless, why are we even know about any of this situation? Okay, get the hell off alive. Cause like I said, I ain't gonna lie. This this is uh making Carlissa look right. Okay, is Carlissa the best uh mother? Hell nah, right? But I feel like she was clocking uh Agbar VT when she was like, "Hey man, you can't really tell me about how I raised my kids when you didn't raise yours." No, my kids are still young. My kids are still young, so I'm still in the process. Um, well, you just got your kids, though, right? From your own words, you said you just got your kids back. And from what it sounds like, it don't sound like you got the best relationship with them. So how the hell are you going to be talking about Carlissa? You know? Come on, man. Come on, man. And I can tell how she run her house. I can already tell. Um, her kids go despise her, if not the, the son or something like that. She don't talk to nobody with, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can tell she got the authoritarian stuff like that. There's a difference between being strict and just being a straight-up asshole. I can tell Agbar V is just an asshole. You, you can tell. She, she, she runs a dictatorship. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is my house. You ain't doing blah, 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 blah. Right or wrong, okay? You can still be strict but fair, right? I can tell she ain't on no fair stuff. 
I can tell she like whatever, like even if she's in the wrong, because nobody's perfect. And I can tell I can see her being wrong because she seems slow, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, she ain't all the way there. Okay, so I can only imagine being her kid, you know, and you have to deal with this woman that got some some clear. It, it, like, it has to be something mental. She has to be off, y'all. She ain't all the way there. It's just way too much evidence of Agbar V with these crazy rants and what she be talking about. Nothing be making sense. I'm like, yeah, I can only imagine being your kid. You know, you telling me to do one one thing, uh, but you expecting the other. So when I do it, now you still got an attitude with me. You like, nah, you told me to do this, right? I don't know what the hell was going on. She keeps saying that all of this is just because she's saying that he ain't clean, but he's saying he just got home. And remember, she said she got older kids, so this sounds like one of her older kids. Like the um, remember she said she got two kids in high school that just went to college and about to graduate. So I don't know which one this is. I don't know if this is the one that's going to college or the one that's a senior. I don't know. I don't know, but it don't really seem like she got her household in check the way she uh, was projecting on uh, Carlissa. Okay. Okay. Well, you don't do nothing either, Derek, because I, I got a cleaning lady that come clean the house every two three, weeks. Three, one time. No, she come every two weeks. Since I came back, this cleaning lady be here every two weeks. No, she don't. She she, one time. It's that little like that time to tell you. I heard I heard it. Guess what? She guess what I'm gonna say? She I, ain't coming back for a whole three months. Okay. Since she been here one time. I can hold. I ain't got no Girl, you say I saw. I'm trying to change, child. That boy know he's gonna stop playing me. Look, I'm not going back. Look, man. Look, I ain't gonna lie. This is the generation, especially with these weirdo uh, parents that's looking for uh, acceptance and trying to prove something to some strangers. Okay, you need to be building a relationship with your son and not some damn strangers online acting a damn fool. You know, you know what he should have said. Remember what our uh, mom and dad used to uh, say back in the day, right? He need to say this to his mama. Hey, I ain't one of your little friends. Mama, get off live. Because I feel like you're doing too much. You over here trying to uh, 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 trying to embarrass me while you on live uh, in front of your little friends. You don't even know these people. With these little, what, a thousand people that you got up in this chat. You know what I'm saying? And you, uh, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Mama, what you doing? What we doing right now? Okay? This whole situation could have went exactly the way it did without being on live. Okay, because the parent got to be a parent. It is what it is. For all I know, I mean, she, she could be 100 percent right. Like I said, he could be just lazy, dirty, not really helping his sisters clean up, whatever the case may be. Right. We just know how that is, especially having teenagers in the house. You know, teenagers are going to be teenagers. OK, <laughs> people be going through phases and stuff like that uh, as, as far as, uh, you know, just going back and forth with their parents. Teenagers thinking they know everything. It's that teenage angst. You know what I'm saying? Teenage little attitude. So I can see it. I, I totally get it. But my thing is, this should not be online. Okay? And then these are the same people that get mad when people like us that's watching online are judging them. Like, girl. But I just don't appreciate her looking into the damn phone and looking at the chat like, oh, girl, yeah, he trying me. Like, is you just trying to put on a show for your little friends or for these weirdos that you ain't even know online? Come on, mama. Come on, mama. Oh, that boy. Even when I was here, that lady here come here. She come here every two weeks. I know she was here when you wasn't here. Yeah, when I when I wasn't here, that he was here. He done got too comfortable not cleaning up. That's the problem. I was feeling You were messing it up. Yeah, exactly. So I don't feel a dirty. What shit? Oh, that's the wall. You had trash all in my thing. You don't like to clean up, but you gonna clean this kitchen. That's all I gotta say. Plan. I'm done talking. You gonna either you gonna either buy buy my mom or you gonna get your big ass out of here. Now what you gonna do? I'm telling you this now. You need to get your big ass out of here. See, I don't even like crap. You got me. You got me having crap. I'm talking to me. You ain't been coming here. Do what you wanna do. You know what? Be with that motherfucker. Oh, 
Mais ça, on vient de soi. Bon, il est très tard, il est tout. On vient de soi. 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 On vient de You ain't clean not one dish. Do you clean up? Do you clean up? No, because you know what Dorm just said earlier? Mom, we, we the only one doing the room ain't doing nothing. She wait. Mom, I said home at 8 o'clock. What you talking about? Okay, you got home at 8 o'clock now, wait. Wait, what? Wait. They just been all day. They don't do nothing. They just laying down. No, they don't. No, they don't. I practice. Don't say practice too. Stop okay, saying nigga. It don't matter. He practicing. Like, 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 okay, well you don't do nothing either, Derek, because I, I got a cleaning lady that come clean the house every, every two weeks. One time. No, she it's, come every two weeks. Then I came back. This cleaning lady be here every two weeks. No, she don't. She she, one time. You don't look like that. I just saw you. Uncle Raven like the I heard it. I heard it. Guess what? She guess what I'm gonna say? She ain't coming back for a whole three months. I can go home. I ain't got no Girl, you didn't say I saw. I'm trying to change. That boy know he's playing me. See, here we go. I'm not going back to that boy. Even when I was here, that lady here come here. She come here every two weeks. I know. She was here when you wasn't here. Yeah, when I wasn't here and then he was here. He done got too comfortable not cleaning up. That's the problem. I was still You were never asking it out. Yeah, exactly. So I don't feel a little dirty. I was never there. I was. Boy, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. You had trash all in my thing. You don't like to clean up, but you gonna clean this kitchen. That's all I gotta say. Clean. I'm done talking. You gonna either you gonna either buy. I try to pause it when she was looking to the camera like that, right before uh you know it, it loops. She looking at the camera. She looking at the chat. So you looking at you yelling at your son, pulling up man like bruh. <sighs> Akbar V, you are an un. Stable creature. A house full of women, cuz. House full of sensitive ass females. Dealing with they damn hormones. Y'all some unstable creatures. See, I ain't gonna say the B word. I'm gonna say unstable creatures. It's my new word. All right. So she got some nerve. So you know Carlissa's gonna uh respond. Duh. Duh. Okay. Obvious. So check this out, y'all. All right. Check this out. Carlissa responds in the comment section, right? Carlissa says, now remember what she said about my kids who ain't never been in foster care? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's Carlissa clocking that T. <laughs> I know, hey, I already know Carlissa, y'all. Y'all know Carlissa. When Carlissa saw this footage, she was rubbing her hands like Birdman. Big ass smile on her face. You ain't gonna under understand everything. And everything ain't meant for you to understand. <laughs> <sighs> so Agbar V responds, okay? Carlissa, keep my kids out your mouth. Saying they been to a foster care B. My kids ain't never stepped foot inside no effing foster home. You loose P as girl, what about you? How many baby daddies you got? Y'all both got multiple baby daddies. And I think you got more. Don't Agbar V got like five baby daddies? So who was she calling anybody loose and and, and and ain't she the same chick that got her body done because uh i could have swore i saw some uh pictures of Agbar v and she was big she was a big back big back big back big back all right i swear y'all be the pot uh uh calling the kettle black like it's like y'all don't be looking in the mirror at all okay I'm like what are you talking about um she says uh she says your son has a bro I, 
I don't. I'm mad that they uh like beating this up. Like what? You and then remember she don't know how to write either. So that's what makes it even worse. They crossing it out and she can't spell. So your son have his the f out you what? And then he get on here and go in on you and call you all type of bees and hoes. My kids ain't did uh, none. Well, you ain't. Your kid, from your own point of view, you're saying your kids isn't even grown yet. So they're not able to do that. Give give your kids, especially your older one, especially the son that you cussing out right now about to kick out, give him a few ears. I guarantee, I, y'all want to make a bet, y'all? I guarantee you, Agbar V kids, as soon as they get of age, they going to come out and talk about her. How much y'all want to bet? How much y'all want to bet? She's like, are you, are you serious? Are you that... There's no way, y'all, that she's that slow. Like, I, I, I just, I just, I just can't believe it. It's called cognitive dissonance, to where as though she literally just can't see it. Girl, you're creating a blue face. The way you talking to that boy? Oh, nah. <laughs> okay. Watch when he get out of uh, from under your roof. Okay. My kids ain't never did none of that. Um. Uh, but yeah, uh, my kids, they never did none of that, but laugh and act like he wasn't when he did go wash them dishes and do what the F I said, because I don't play with him. Or should I say them? Girl, this was not this was not like a good comeback. For one, you sound like, you know, th them kids is in danger messing around with you, for one. Okay? You should be embarrassed. Embarrassment when you was embarrassing your relationship. Okay, um, I told y'all, man, unstable creatures is for everybody. Men can be unstable creatures too, but Akbar V, she falls under that category. I don't care about nothing that she just said, because for one, she can't even write. Like y'all gotta remember, y'all, this is a grown ass woman writing in uh in um hieroglyphics. Okay, writing in emojis and um look, like she can't write. What is this? But it's like my little, it's like my little uh, 12, 11 year old nephew, right? Be playing Fortnite and stuff. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, that's, I told y'all, it's scary out here. Y'all gotta watch this movie called Idiocracy. Um, it is a movie that I highly uh, recommend. It's one of my all time favorites. Um, it was supposed to be a comedy, right? But it's becoming a, a documentary at this point because. It just seemed like the, as the years go by, man, people just get slower and slower and slower. And think about this, y'all. People like Akbar V have the power to vote. To make a change. Ain't that scary? He has the, uh, she has the right to have a driver's license. You share the road with people like this. Can you imagine? Right? They let people like this raise their kids, raise kids. That's not scary to y'all. I don't know, y'all. This, this this is crazy. She not understanding that everything we just saw and everything she just wrote literally projects what she's projecting on uh blue uh you know on uh blueface mom on Carlissa. Girl, you don't sound like the best mama. What are you talking about? I don't know, man. Uh, I guarantee y'all. I, I, I'll give it. I mean, because uh, like like she said, my kids, they never did that. All right. Let them not be kids again. We'll give you we'll give you a couple years. Give them a few years. OK. All right. In a few years, she's going to be uh, sounding just like this. Mad to my, uh, why her kids don't be talking to her. Beyonce said it best. Me, myself, and I is all I got in the end. That's what I found out. And there ain't no need to cry, to go bow. That from now on, I'm going to be my own best friend. And cut. This is scary, y'all. This is scary, man. Um, But yeah, man, we, we, we got to keep it going with these aunties, man. I'm tired of even looking at um Agbar V. She look like a damn giraffe in the face, Okay. Uh, looking like she should have been in a, a Madagascar, okay? Um, but let's keep it going with these aunties, man. Let's keep it going with these aunties, okay? So, Jocelyn Hernandez was recently on 
the auntie's podcast and from the looks of it y'all it looked like it was a very turned up episode like these these women are going down okay all right it's going down okay so apparently tommy lee was brought up and jocelyn then lost her damn mind she she don't don't bring up uh tommy lee obviously because she got real mad okay so it says oops auntie uh Auntie Tia asks Jocelyn about her beef with Tommy, and she responds, F her. Okay, so it's still on site. I guess it's still on site, y'all. All All right, let's check this out. Tommy beef, y'all had before. I'm not talking about no comments. Don't ask me nothing about no... Listen, listen, listen. Listen, Tia. You see... Hold on, Tia. Only ask me about the on man i ain't gonna lie bro we gotta start doing mental health wellness checks i'll be thinking all these people is slow or got some form of like illness or something y'all all All right now we do know they be playing a character especially we expose tia kim tia kim is cosplaying y'all that's not the real tia kim she don't even sound like that she don't talk like that or nothing right but i'll be thinking something else is involved okay some form of you know uh, mental ailment or even some type of substance. Okay, I don't know what the hell they be doing. What the hell was Tia just doing? Okay, y'all saw what she was just doing. Tommy beef y'all had before. I'm not talking yeah. about no okay. comments. Okay. Don't, don't, ask me, don't ask me nothing about Woo! no. Listen, listen, listen. T- listen, Tia. You see? Hold on, Tia. Only ask- see what I'm saying? What, what is she doing? And why she be doing that thing with her tongue? I know that thing she be doing with her tongue. Like, what she be doing? It's weird. Okay? It's weird. All right? You said Jocelyn, the smartest one on set, and that says a lot. All right? That says a lot about uh, the woman that can't even uh, pronounce a, 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 a V, okay, in her uh, <laughs> in her vocabulary. Stevie. It's Stevie. Okay? <laughs> Ask me if a don't own their own shows and intellectual property and their music. Okay, gotcha. And they're not and they, they not be and they not bitches. and they not uh, creating other shows and putting them out there for the universe to see. Don't bring them up. I'm gonna go back to saying what I was saying before. This dead. B- Thank you, God. This a skeleton because she's dead. Okay, right. inside and outside. I'm gonna finish going back to what I was saying. Man. This Tommy beef y'all had before. I'm not talking oh, yeah. about no okay. comments. Don't, 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 don't ask me nothing about what? no. Listen, listen, listen. T- listen, Tia. And you see, hold on, Tia. Bro, it looked like she uh uh like it's an exorcism or something. Y'all ever seen an exorcist? Remember when she was messing with her tongue and all that? And, ah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I swear that's what it seemed like. Y'all can't tell me it didn't seem like it was from the exorcist. Hold on, hold on. Y'all ever seen Scary Movie? We got to react to Scary Movie too, y'all. There's so many movies we got to watch. Y'all remember Scary Movie too? When she was messing with her tongue? She was like, F me! F me! All right, hold on. Hold on, man. Y'all know I got a good memory, bro, and I'm a movie guy. Hold on. Y'all remember this? Hold on. Fair use. Hold on. Like, y- y'all remember this? Hold on. Y'all know I'm stupid, y'all. Y'all know I rem- y- y'all remember I- y'all know I remember everything. Y'all remember this? Y'all can't tell me this ain't uh Tia Kent. Bitch, Jerry kicked off of Survivor. Fuck, fuck me! Fuck me! Is that not is that not Tia Kent right there? Is that not Tia Kent? With with doing her tongue and stuff? After, uh, I'm like, what the hell? All right, just, just disgusting. I told you I'm a movie dude, y'all. Whenever I see something, it just remind me of a movie. This was definitely Tia Kent. All right, look, this is Tia Kent, y'all. Almighty Father and ah! everlasting God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ and the Virgin Mary's baby dad. Holy Lord, Almighty Father. Ever- okay, that's Tia Kent. When I see Tia Kent, it looks like she having a damn exorcism. Okay, why she do that? 
Tommy beef y'all had before. I'm not talking yeah, about no man. Don't, 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 yeah. don't ask me nothing about Woo. no. Listen, listen, listen. T listen, Tia. And you see, hold on, Tia. Only ask me if a don't own their own shows and intellectual property and their music. Okay, gotcha. And they're not, and they, they not, be and they not, bitches. and they not uh, creating other shows and putting them out there for the universe to see. Don't bring them up. I'm gonna go back to saying what I was saying before. This dead. Thank you. God. This. A skeleton because she's dead okay right. inside and outside i'm gonna finish going back to what i was saying this tommy beef y'all had before i'm not talking yeah. about okay. no comment. And, and i noticed y'all noticed something right peep this y'all didn't notice something y'all didn't notice carlissa wasn't uh next to her on the couch y'all didn't notice that carlissa wasn't uh that was it she was in the crowd because carlissa and jocelyn got into it y'all crazy man y'all the it podcast is crazy right now all right i would and i still don't know what did carlissa say to jocelyn to make her you feel me go off to where as though carlissa had to lead a damn show she watching it from the crowd right if you know i know y'all doing whatever y'all doing but if we can't, if we can't really sit here and have a good so time, when she say oh, make a fun, she hold on, hold on, like or make me. a fun, and then we can't film because I ain't come here for this. They, they, I don't know what, I don't know what the motive is to have me here. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna talk. About yeah. What are we talking about? But listen, what, because what you ain't listening to me. I'm the only. Why? I'm listening to you, and, and and I'm trying to talk. Keep running don't piss mouth. me, South. I'm please. trying to talk. Come on, that's what we do. Listen, you always. What I do? Nobody did you don't like you. What I do? Why did Nobody you name me don't like you? And then, and then y'all go turn on Carlissa. Y'all supposed to be her damn co-host. Y'all taking Jocelyn's side? You always doing too much. Nobody like you. Nobody like you. Damn. All right, Tia. You, you about to get you about to get out the damn uh group. All right. It's a lot of groups that survived without you. Okay. All right. They about to do her like 3LW, like a uh, 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 Natari Norton. Okay. <laughs> Man. No, I'm not the one. Say it again. Tell me again. Yeah. You do and you don't, don't. You will and you won't, won't. No more. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It's giving girl group. It's, it, it, it's giving they about to break up soon. It's giving, uh, if we, are we gonna give, uh, are we gonna get a season two? Are we gonna get a season two? I'm taking Jocelyn's side this time too. Carlissa is dry and boring. But we don't know what she said. I know Tokyo Tony won't come for Jocelyn. Uh, Carlissa uh, uh, brought it on herself. She, she need uh all her wait she need her all black sweatsuit back yeah i told you uh carlissa dressed like spinderella right now she looked like she in uh she looked like she in salt and pepper right now push it real good dun, 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 that's what it looked like she wearing right now even look like she in um it, it, it looked like she could be in a few groups. So she looked like she could be in um, um, uh, Salt and Pepper. It looked like she could be in TLC. You know, during the crazy, sexy, cool era when they was wearing all the uh, all the hats and jerseys and stuff. Carlissa on her '90s stuff right now. Aaliyah. You know, that's what that that's that's the vibe she giving right now. Okay. Um, but yeah, it seems like they not they not bother with her right now. And Jocelyn, like, hey, I'll get up out of here. So I guess Carlissa, like, no, you know, to keep the show going, she'll just leave, right? And remember, they just did this same damn thing with um uh, Big Frida. Remember between Tokyo Tony and Carlissa. Why when she get her ready? Right? When y'all get her ready, I'm gonna come back. No, she, she's bad energy, and she's all oh, in my ear God. with that nasty breath. That's so Big breath my so life. So if, if you know, I know y'all doing whatever y'all doing, 
But if we can't, if we can't really sit here and have a good so time, when she said, oh, we make it fun. She said, "Ladies, like me." I'll make it fun, and then we can film because I ain't come here for that. They, they, I don't know what I don't know what the motive is to have me here. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna talk. About yes. What are we talking about? But listen, what, because what you know? ain't listening to me. I'm the only. No, why? I'm listening to you, and, and 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 I'm trying and to talk. Keep running don't piss mouth. me, South. I'm trying to talk. Come on, this is what we do. Listen, you always. What I do? Nobody did you don't like in the cabin. What I do? Why did you Nobody let me don't like what, you. What, what, when she get her ready, when y'all get her ready, I'ma come back. No, she, she's bad energy, and she's all oh, in my ear God. with that nasty That's breath. That's all. Breath my like. I wonder what she said. We yeah, I, we, we gotta watch it, y'all. I don't know what she said to her because she had to say something. They all be up in there talking trash, so it gotta be something that made her feel some type of way, you know. I wonder exactly what she said, okay? You said Carlissa looks cute there. Yeah, with her, uh, I told you, with her TLC uh, outfit. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Listen to the rivers and... Wait. Is it... Wait, what did it say? Rivers and oceans that you used to? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Leave me alone. Um... But yeah, so I guess, you know, to keep the show going, Carlissa was like, all right, I'll just, you know, I'll just sit in the crowd at this point, okay? I have some Casa Legos, babe. Here, get this lady away from me. It says, in order for the show to continue Carlissa is asked to withdraw from the remainder of the episode. Wow. Oh, it said Carlissa is asked to. So the producers told her to get off. Oh, wow. Oh, it's Rivers and Lakes. I knew it was something. But um, yeah, man. Yeah, somebody of water on. Listen to uh <laughs> listen to Aquafina. Water bottles you used to. <laughs> Listen to the faucet. What are you used to? We know it was some type of water. Okay. Anyways, I didn't know that it was the producers. I thought Carlissa just took herself, you know. So, you know, in order for them to keep having the show, because Jocelyn was really going to leave, I guess, they made Carlissa sit herself in the stands and just enjoy the show from the crowd. I'm like, dang, what did she say to her? Okay. And y'all gonna leave her stay right here in my face? Y'all always off. losing me. Oh, they wanted to leave. Jocelyn wanted her to leave. Dang. Yeah, we gotta find out what happened. We gotta find out exactly what happened, what she said or something, because it made her to where as though she didn't even want Carlissa to be there anymore. I wanted Jocelyn to snatch her up real quick and straighten her uh, back out just a little bit. Not like Tasiki and DTB, but just a little, uh, just a little get it together. Like, dang, uh, you're you're violent. <laughs> it depends on what she said. Uh, yeah, Jocelyn thinks she runs everything everywhere she goes. There's no way a guest should have no have more power than the host. Exactly, but you know. We know she she's second in command when it come to uh when it come to Zeus or third is Lemmy, is Natalie and then Jocelyn. So uh, if Carlissa would have stayed, Jocelyn would have beat the brakes off her. <laughs> I know that body armor be hidden like it's uh, supposed to. Just make sure that you don't drink it too fast. Uh, is he talking about the lyrics to the song? When the uh, dark liquor tells who you uh, really are. Yeah, remember she kept saying um, she drinking Casa Ligos. For one, I thought it was Casa Migos. She said, I'm drinking Casa Ligos. And then she's like, you go, you go just let her sit here in my face? You just go let her sit here in my face? Carlissa's like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm just sitting down. All right? Yeah, look, somebody says, child, I hate how it's so Jocelyn way or the highway like She's not no God. She's a human being. I commend Carlissa for staying. 
let's be real you can't kick someone off their own show you may as well leave right now nah, jocelyn came with good energy she didn't have an attitude gave them their flowers and that old lady was all in her ears saying shady stuff uh oh uh oh y'all know look carlissa uh says something this carlissa right here y'all carlissa says this how all the zeus actresses act when it's a new sheriff in town she sat her butt back down and i directed my ish from the sidelines i took one for the team i promise it's an ep it's uh i promise it's an episode you must watch from beginning to end all right i can't believe they kicked that lady off her own show okay you got me kicked in my off. face you right here I'm kicked off my own show. In my face. Matthew. I'm kicked off my Come own on, show. Come on, Puerto Rican hey, princess. Hey, hey, uh, uh, you got the couch to yourself, baby. Come oh, on, Jocelyn. I like her. Why is she doing that with her tongue? Bruh, I'm, she need an exorcist. I told you. I, I told you I played the perfect thing. The, 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 the exorcist from Scary Movie 2. Doing the tongue and all that stuff. Why is she doing that? Bro, you can't take this woman seriously, bro. She's a weirdo. I'm not going downstairs. Bro, I'm 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 irritated. I blame you, Rick Ross, for for introducing this woman to uh the industry. We wouldn't know who this woman is if you didn't impregnate her. So we got to blame Brick uh, uh about to call him Brick Ross, but I guess we could call him Brick Ross too. Um but yeah, uh we, we got to blame Rick Ross. All right. There's I'm not on punishment. She could go for that. <clears throat> no, she can't. Okay, no, then let can't. her go on. I'm still no, why don't you just go downstairs? I'm not going downstairs. We have a fun show. Not happen. Why don't you go downstairs? Nah, yeah, come on, they doing too much now. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all had the game, okay? Who's a bigger, obviously, celebrity than Jocelyn Hernandez? Y'all had, who else y'all had on here, y'all? They had Antonio Brown, arguably the best wide receiver over the last 10 years, okay, of his generation. Statistically, he's one of the best wide receivers of all time, okay? Whether you feel about his uh, his antics, you know, off the field and stuff, he's he's crazy as hell. We know that, okay? Okay, and, you know, he's uh, he's new, new baby, uh, baby father, okay? But, um... You know, he's a bigger celebrity her, than her. Like, why? Why? What? What's up with this whole goddess complex with uh, Jocelyn? Like, she can just get away with all of this stuff. How is she pulling all these strings like this? Whereas though, she's kicking off a, uh, a a host of the show. You will never see. I don't care who the guest is. Okay, you will never see Whoopi Goldberg get kicked off the View. Okay. You, you, you would have never saw that. Okay? Y'all would have been... Come on. Y'all think Tamar Braxton would have been able to get kicked off the reel for a guest? Like, that's not... That's just not how things work. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm, I'm trying to understand, like, why did... Like, why she got so much damn pool? He just a regular-ass person. Like, come on, man. You said uh, you got to watch it first. Carlissa was wrong and hating for no reason. Jocelyn was teaching them real game when Carlissa acted up. <laughs> it's, it's But it's still to kick her off her own show. How many shows have we seen where the guest and the host go back and forth? You don't. You still don't kick the damn host off the show. You know? I'm sure Lemmy went along with it. Right. You said they were definitely doing the most towards Carlissa and Tokyo Tony was glad someone else didn't like her. Right. Carlissa needs to be replaced. She always low-key hating with her negative energy. Dang. So it seemed like it's half and half, just like in the comment section for Zeus right here. It seemed like, you know, some people are against Jocelyn having all this power, but some of y'all are with Jocelyn having this power. Jocelyn was great energy and Carlissa was messed up messing with her. Um, T is so cringy. Yes, she is. She's a weirdo. Looking like she's possessed by something. She is possessed. I don't think it's looking like. 
Yeah, Tia the Tongue Lady. We got to start calling her Tongue uh, Kemp. It's not Tia no more. Tia the Tongue Kemp. Maybe Rick Ross put a spell on Tia with her tongue. Or no, 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 no. You you're, you're got it all wrong. She put a spell on him with her tongue. That's how she got a baby and child support out of, uh, out of him for 18 years. Um, Give Carlissa the boot, rehire her, and kick her back off. Oh, my Lord. Just say you don't like Carlissa. Because <laughs> that, that, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> Not Baby. gonna happen. We have a fun if I show. I go downstairs, I'm going home. Bye. I'm not going downstairs. Bye. Bye. Oh my God. This is crazy, y'all. Like, this was a whole. Yeah, bye. <laughs> I'm on Carlissa's side this time. That's why I said y'all split in the chat right now. Some of y'all are Team Jocelyn right now. Others are team um, uh, Carlissa. I just feel like I, I feel like Jocelyn should have had that much damn power to, to kick her off the damn show. You know, that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying Carlissa wasn't wrong. I'm just saying like, damn, you the host. Usually the guests would just leave and it just is what it is. Right. Sorry, I have some Casa Legos, babe. Get this lady away from me. And y'all gonna leave her stay right here in my face? Y'all always off. losing me. You got me kicked in off. In my face, you right here. I'm kicked off my own show. In my face. Matthew. I'm kicked off my Come own on, show. Come on, Puerto Rican princess. And, uh, uh, you got the couch to yourself, baby. Come oh, on, Jocelyn. I like her. I'm not going downstairs. I am not on punishment. She could go for that. <clears throat> no, she can't. Okay, no, then let can't. her go on. I'm still No, why don't you just go downstairs? I'm not going downstairs. We have a fun show. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. We have a fun show. If I show. go downstairs, I'm going home. Bye. I'm not going downstairs. Bye. Bye. Oh, my God. Sorry, I have some Casa Legos, babe. Get this lady away from me. And y'all gonna leave her stay right here in my face? Y'all always off. losing me. You got me kicked off. In my off. face, you right here. I'm kicked off my own show. In my face. Matthew. I'm kicked off my I'm own show. Me. Yeah, so I'm guessing uh, Jocelyn and... Um... I'm guessing Jocelyn and Natalie got a lot of power when it comes to Zeus. That's what it's looking like. Okay, now we already know the power that um, uh, Natalie has, but I didn't know Jocelyn had had pool like that to where as though she can go on other people's show and get them kicked off. Yeah, Tokyo loving this. You know, she messy as hell. You don't think Tia looks like the girl gremlin? She look like a troll. Yeah, Casa Ligos. Jocelyn owns her show and set up her contract so her uh, great-grandkids will get paid and Carlissa is an employee. They kicked the employee off uh, uh, for a boss. Dang. Um. Yeah. So this is uh this is crazy, y'all. Jocelyn has more power than Natalie, and that's why Nat doesn't like her. Mmm. I don't know, man. I still, I, I, I still want to see what 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 happened though. So I'm I'm gonna have to do my googles. I'm gonna have to do my research. Okay, but let's let's talk about it. Jocelyn, it's not like Jocelyn doesn't always have issues with people too though. So let's stop acting like she's innocent either too though. You know what I'm saying? She's talking about people bringing bad energy. She brings bad energy. Okay, she brings bad energy. Carlissa was uh taking everything Jocelyn said personal. I think Carlissa wanted a problem with Jocelyn. Oh, okay. Oh, kind of like um, Akbar V, because we know uh, we know um, remember, remember, okay. Even though it's crazy that these women are doing this at their big age, right? Remember, I think a lot of the stuff that stemmed between Akbar V and Carlissa is because Akbar V he is a barb. Right, and Carlissa is Barty gang, okay. 
And that's why she was uh, taking shots at uh, Akbar V like that and vice versa. Okay. Now, y'all might think, nah, no, no, no. That's that's definitely what it was. Okay. That's definitely what it was. Okay. Akbar V is a barb and Carlissa is Barty gang. And Carlissa didn't, uh, didn't appreciate how Akbar V be talking about uh, Cardi B. Okay. You said Carlissa's too big uh, to be funking over celebrities. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. Uh, uh, the the women that be in my chat in my comment section always talking about uh, Krishan. They they they, they rock tars, rocket felons, and stuff. These women be in their fifties and sixties. All right, on some real unstable creature type stuff. I'll be like, what the hell? Get out of my get out of my chat. Go go watch your grandkids or something. Why are you over here uh vouching and, and praising this uh this felon that was drinking and smoking during out her, her whole pregnancy? This is how I be having to get at them old women. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. What's snag a tooth bitch? What's snag a tooth bitch? That bitch Krishan. Um Oh, he don't so let me say, oh he doesn't like Krishan. I said where was this No. So this big 40 odd uh, number ass woman has the nerve to go in her fucking front room and turn on it's a fucking vibe all the time. I look at that bitch and look at my homegirl. I don't like, man, if you don't get me out this motherfucking broad house, talking about a fucking vibe all the time, this bitch here damn near 50. I see what. Like Greg T say, unstable creatures. It's a damn shame. I'm telling y'all, man. I'm telling y'all. Krishan old enough to be their damn uh, daughter, if not granddaughter. It's weird. That's why we had to get on Tamar Rockhead, okay? It's not Tamar Braxton no more, y'all. It's Tamar Rock, okay? Because remember, Tamar Braxton has been best friends with James Chanel Wright for a long time. And she still took Krishan Rock's side at first and was protecting her. Super weird. Come on. Oh, she like a little sister. No, that's like your daughter. The hell? Just a weirdo, bro. And then obviously Tamar Braxton exposed herself with her crazy self. Okay. Uh with, with her uh with her boyfriend, husband, whatever you want to call him, uh JR. That's a whole nother conversation. Uh we talked about that already. Anyways, y'all.